Here at Flow Zone Services, Sean McCombs. I built a RFID card reader system for our electronic door switches. If you have the right card, it'll turn green and unlock. If you have the wrong card, it'll just blink. So the electronic door switches were already in place. They were wired into this office where you press a, press a button and it will unlock it. I tied into that, run the cables for the readers, which go up into the attic. Both of them were a pain because our I'll just show you. The boards across the top of the studs are probably two or three, maybe even four two by fours deep. So standing on a ladder on the top step with a paddle bitch drill is not really my favorite thing. Alright, these are two control boxes with two control relays. I built a system with transistors, but it wasn't enough to switch it. So, power comes from a 12 volt, 1 amp power supply. Quick connects along with a uh, step down converter. I have two uh, 12 volt wires also coming with the 5 volt step down. The 5 volts are for the microcontrollers and the 12 volts are for the relay blocks. And uh, normally open, normally closed. If you get into the boxes here, you'll see that there's a Omega. Arduino type microcontroller on a breadboard with uh, several pinouts, this is DuPont connectors, 5 volt power, 5 volt power for the readers, uh, enable LED, the two wires for the transistor that controls the relay, and then the uh, serial in from the uh, RFID reader card. So I'll run those. That's the second lock and the first one's way back there. Along with the uh, controlling switches under the desk. Uh, I built this system a long time ago to log into my computer, but I didn't really ever install it because it was on a laptop. So I remodified it and used it here because they have the ridiculous non button punch code door locks, which barely work, and it's like 1970s. This is 2013, so I decided they probably need to upgrade. And uh, parts wise, if you go by retail, it's about 150 bucks. Not counting the cases or the relays or the brackets that they set in. Just for the reader, it's like 40 bucks. My controller's 10 bucks. And then uh, uh, cabling and uh, a few other things. Anyways, that's what I've been up to. Completed this project in probably about 25 to 30 hours worth of time. I had to remodify the code for the uh, megas from uh, one card to a hundred cards. We have about 30 something employees plus extra people that rent offices here, so. Need more, more cards. 
if you want to change the cards you have to plug in with a USB to FTDI cable right there that will allow you to reprogram it it has a auto reset capacitor no buttons and I plan to take this system and mount it on the wall because we have a old security system in a box here I was going to use it but I don't really want to mess with the wiring I'm about getting a Nemo box and putting it here or over there I don't know anyways that's what I've been up to us two or three days and then two or three Sundays in a row alright hope you enjoy see you next time